Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're new. I do apologize about not being able to put up Throwback Sunday, but uh, I was feeling uh, kind of sick, um, you know, the flu isn't 100% you know, gone from me yet, unfortunately, uh, which is disappointing, because I did have pretty fun things that I had planned for, uh, for this, for last Sunday. Um... But yeah, so today what I want to do, and uh, I am going to be putting up another video. I think I'll be putting up Devil May Cry today. Or is it Resident Evil that goes up today? I can't remember which one exactly, to be completely honest. It's like 4 in the morning. But anyway, I really just wanted to put something out for you guys today. So what I'm going to be doing today... <coughs> yeah, as you can tell, I still got a bit of a cough, so I do apologize. Um, so the one thing that I noticed... I was playing around a little bit of Devil May Cry yesterday, uh, yeah, yeah, last night, and uh, I noticed something really neat. So you know um, the one cutscene where Dante he's in the sin form, he just got it, and he's right in front of yours, and and he awakens the sword, has that energy beam in the center. <coughs> you know the one that he uses in his uh, d devil trigger. Well, what if I told you that you could actually use the Awakened Sword outside of Double Trigger? And on top of that, it also has perks on top of it and abilities. So I'm going to get into this and show you guys. So for this video, I'm going to use Super Dante, just so I have um, all the, the powers and everything right from the start to make it easier. Alrighty. Okay, so let's uh, build up the sin trigger. Okay. So let's do the move that everybody likes. So everybody <coughs> knows this move, right? All those things going crazy, everything like that. Boom. Just like that. So we know the sword's awakened when he does, uh, when he's in the sin trigger. And as you can see, the sword awakens when you're in, uh, double triggered with the regular one. But like I was saying before, if you hold the triangle button, which I'm gonna do, you can see it's charging up. And it's all on fire now, all that kind of cool stuff. And <coughs> I'm gonna let go of triangle now. Boom. And now it's uh, it's open. It's awakened now. <coughs> but the thing is, we never get a good, a very good look at it. So let's go into the light here. I'm trying to find a good spot. Spot. There's a good spot. Because I'm trying to put it in the light. So let's take a good look at this thing. You can see fire, energy, all that stuff. Really cool looking. Split in half. I do have a really good picture of it. It sucks that you can't put pictures on YouTube. I really wish you could. <coughs> Talons are still, you know, super heated. All that cool stuff. So one ability is, if you remember from that cutscene like I was talking about, where he first shows off the sin... Uh, trigger to uh, yours and, <coughs> and when he's um, 
swinging the sword and all of the uh, summon swords are around it. If you push uh, sword masters and you swing, that exact thing is happening. See, look at that. Oh, I didn't notice that. Huh. Kind of comes down like a claw. That's cool. I never noticed that before. Um, it also works with other uh, moves as well. So say we charge up. Well, let's not do it here. Um, let's do it over no, over here. So let's charge up uh, Drive. So even when you charge up Drive, they even go out with a Drive move. And that's really cool too. Um, <coughs> another ability, and say if we go to Trickster, right? Now Dante usually only has uh, that one <coughs> that one move because he uh, has awakened the sword, right? Uh, he can do two, and the uh, summon swords uh, shoot out. I thought that was really cool. Also, I wanted to say the only reason why this sword is staying awakened is because I'm using Super Dante. Um, there is a time limit <coughs> for the sword being awakened. I don't know the exact time. As I'm going to guess it's about 60 seconds to maybe 2 minutes, something like that. But yeah, it doesn't stay permanently awakened. And it does take up two double triggers, or two double trigger bars. So, just thought, you know, I'd tell you guys that. Um, another thing that's really cool is if you go <coughs> to Royal, <coughs> sorry, uh, Royal Guard, you can see them behind. And we all know his Royal Guard's pretty powerful. If we push block, right, as you can see, the summon swords go in front of him. So now, we have like an extra layer of protection on top of the regular guard. So if you're a master royal guard, always getting uh, perfect uh, blocks, you know, uh, you're going to be, you know, pretty powerful uh, player. Oh yeah, I was going to say also too about the uh, trickster. <coughs> so Dante usually gets two, right? Well, uh, the abilities also they don't just stick to um, outside of trigger. As you can see, he's uh, smoking, right? You can see the uh, the power emanating from him. That's because the sword's awakened. So, if we go over here, we have enough room. <coughs> he now has three jumps instead of two because we awakened the sword outside of double trigger. which is pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite uh, things is... Okay, let's go over here. But let's uh, get out of this. Now, are there going to be bad guys, or is it just going to be these guys? Okay, so I don't want those guys. So bear with me for a moment. And I'm going to put it <coughs> on a higher difficulty. Because I put it on a lower one because I was just testing some stuff out. Yeah, okay. And spoilers if you've never played the game. For, uh, Virgil's there. Forgot to say. But at this point, see, the game's been out for a year or so. You know, I'm not going to bother hiding it. Okay. <coughs> yes. Let's go to Dante Must Die. And hopefully there'll be more uh, guys. Because I know if you play higher difficulties, there's the two um, things that we saw there. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, ten uh, tentacle things. And there's supposed to be one or two um, of the guys from Devil May Cry 3. And one of the big cleaver guys from uh, number two. We need more enemies so I can uh, demonstrate this next part. It's going to be a bit of a short video but hopefully you guys enjoy it.
I really wanted to put up that uh, throwback Sunday, but I just was not feeling good. You know, I, <clears throat> I kind of feel bad. Because even I was looking forward to it. I was like, oh, this is going to be really fun this Sunday from what I had planned. I'm not going to tell you. Because I'll probably do it next Sunday. Okay, so. What you like? Is this? We're going to do <coughs> uh, Virgil's hair. You liked and we're going to charge up the sword. And I think. Looks like I overslept. Yeah, okay. So, this is probably gonna be good. So, as you can see, right? Summon swords, they shoot out just like, uh, just like Virgil summon swords in number three and number four. Except the difference is in this one is you don't push an attack button, and he's already hurt, so we can go after him now. So, we're gonna switch to, uh, sword masters, so we can get those extra slashes in. Oh boy. So yeah, I thought this was something really interesting, really cool that I wanted to show you guys. <coughs> And I don't know if these apply to... Oh, they do. So you can, I guess, change different weapons then. Wow, that's pretty neat. I didn't know that. Huh. So I guess all the abilities of the Dante Sword uh, being awakened, um, you don't have to stay on the Dante Sword. I thought you did. And I'm not playing, I'm not uh, trying right now, you know, since I'm just talking. If it doesn't look like I'm doing all that great. But I thought this was uh, pretty neat. Oh, that was, what was another thing I wanted to show? If you hold triangle, maybe it's not going to do it. <coughs> is it not going to do it? Or does it have to be on... Oh, okay, yeah, that's what it is. So... Okay, so... Okay, that's what it was. I couldn't remember the button, proper buttons. So, same thing when you have it to wait. And it, um... In Swordmaster's mode, if you hold the circle button, right? It charges up them up like that. Kind of like Nero's, um... Summon whatever they even work. They weren't swords. And when you let go of them, they go after them like that. Huh. This should make things easier. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys uh, <coughs> something that I found. Hopefully you had a great weekend. And, uh, yeah, so <coughs> I'll see you guys, uh, hopefully tomorrow. I think tomorrow I will do, uh, Resident Evil 3. And if I am mistaken, maybe not, I think it's the last episode of Resident Evil 3. I can't remember. It sucks when we get to the end of, uh, of a series. Because you play through the series, you talk about it, you know, and then you move on to another thing. You know, just sucks. But anyway, um, this video is a bit of a shorter one, I know. I just wanted to show you guys how to awaken the sword outside of Devil, Devil Trigger, because I didn't even know you could. Uh, if you found this video um, entertaining, informative, anything like that, uh, please leave a like, uh, comment, feel free to subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I hope you all have a great day.